it's Aaliyah from Soap Cult. A couple of months ago I was watching a YouTube video from Nelson Interior Soapery. Uh, I honestly don't know what video it was uh, now, but she had just managed to find this awesome backdrop set that she got from um, Spotlight in Australia. Um, but you can get them from like craft stores in America and stuff too. And I was like, wow, that looks so good for the price. So I immediately went out and, um, you know, bought myself a pack. And then, yeah, like two or three months went by. And this is the first chance that I've really had um, to open it. So I thought that I would just take you with me. Um, and get a feel for, you know, what this setup is like, because now that I'm in this new space, honestly, I really thought that doing photography in this new space would be so easy because I had all this extra room and I could spread out, um, and I could set up a studio and just, you know, leave it there without having to break it down like I would when I was in my study, but it hasn't worked out like that. The light's completely different. I don't know what it is. I'm just struggling to get started. So I thought, yeah, why don't I try something else? Um, and try this little tabletop uh, set and see how we go because for the I've forgotten what the price is now I'll put it down in the show notes I probably should have checked before I started filming the voiceover um, but yeah it comes with quite a few of these backdrops and the little you know clips and everything that you need um, ready to go so probably only a couple of these backdrops are going to be suitable for my um, you know brand colors and style and all that sort of stuff but I think it's going to work for a lot of other businesses. So let me just show you all the different backdrops that you get. And it, they're pretty decent, like they're non-reflective. Um, the paper thickness is quite good. Like, obviously, it's not, um, it's not, you know, professional sort of grade. I wouldn't get anything like wet or oily on them. I think they would get damaged. But... Yeah, it's pretty decent. I think from memory it was around about 50 or $60 and at the time Spotlight was having a big sale, you know, and it just made sense for me to place an order online and get it. So these are the hard part of the backdrop and this is what creates um, the base and the backing. So one side's black, one side's white and unfortunately the black ones are just covered in dings and little scratches and stuff and I think that's actually happened because of the bulldog clips so they're quite rough um, you can see some of the imprints there which is sort of annoying because if you wanted to just have like plain black uh, you actually wouldn't be able to do that unless you spent the time in Photoshop and you know got rid of all the yucky marks and stuff um, on your backdrop the white looks fine you can't really notice it so much on the white so yeah let's Look at how we put this together. That's how you put it together. <laughs> I just cut most of this clip out because honestly, you don't want to see me struggling with this. It's pretty boring. But each of the little backdrops has got a little notches cut out from the corner so that you can slide it into place really well, top and bottom, and it doesn't get messed up by the, um, the clips that make it stand up. Um, you know, and they're quite good. Like, I'm actually really impressed. And I think for a lot of businesses, these uh, you know background options would work for your styling quite well um, I'm pretty much only interested in like the darker textures and stuff um, but there's like terrazzo um, yeah like the, the black and white marbles nice there's, there's a black version as well really quite grainy it's got subway tiles they're always good they're a classic um, and then some other, you know, textures. So really for the price, it is, it is pretty good. Yeah, there's a terrazzo. And you can just play around and find what works well for you. I'm sure this will work for the majority of people. Yeah, look at that. I can think of so many brands that would totally rock that backdrop. Honestly, that would work so well. But now I'm going to try something else. What if I just use this as like the base of a, of a background and then I use fabric and stuff and hang that up and just have this small little studio space where you could photograph a couple of bars of soap or a couple of bath bobs or candles or whatever it is that you want to do. Let's have a try putting it together. I wasn't feeling particularly inspired this day, so don't hold it against me when I create a fairly ordinary backdrop. <laughs> I 
yeah, I've just adjusted the settings so you can actually see what I um, am doing here. So basically I just like to layer things and create lots of different interesting texture. So obviously me filming this, it's going to be quite different. You won't get the same feel as if I was taking a, you know, product shot because you'd need to have different angles and it would be, you know, heavily cropped for this type of, um, this type of work. I've basically just grabbed stuff off my shelf in the showroom and my mock boxes and stuff. <laughs> just started putting them all together. So yeah, nothing that I'm arranging right now looks particularly good. And I honestly wouldn't have any of these photographs on my social media or anything like that. But you can get an idea for what you can fit in within the dimensions of, um, of the background and yeah this doesn't quite work out but basically if you had something to lean that foam core against it'd be fine you can create this tiny little you know shell this little you know cute little mini studio um so i think all in all this is a pretty great pack um i've paid a lot more for a lot less quality to be honest um yeah so i'll leave all the details and stuff below in the show notes i think you should definitely check it out and really up your photography game. Enjoy. Bye.